Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this 12th day of May 2022. Let us gather to worship as we start our day. O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. The first psalm this morning is Psalm 147 verses 12 through 20. It talks about God's presence. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem, praise your God, O Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your gates, he blesses your children within you, he grants peace within your borders, he fills you with the finest of wheat, he sends out his command to the earth, his word runs swiftly, he gives snow like wool, he scatters frost like the ashes, he hurls down hail like crumbs, who can stand before his cold? He sends out his word and melts them. He makes his wind blow and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statues and his ordinances to Israel. He has not dealt with thus with any other nation. They do not know his ordinances. Praise the Lord. The Acts lesson this morning is from Acts chapter 11, verses 1 through 18, and is the account of Peter's vision before he goes to uh, baptize Gentiles as he's reporting to the somewhat skeptical uh, Christ, early Christian community in Jerusalem. Listen now. Now the apostles and believers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also accepted the word of God. So when Peter went to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers criticized him, saying, why would you go to the uncircumcised men and eat with them? Then Peter began to explain it to them step by step, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in a trance I saw a vision. There was something like a large sheet coming down from heaven, being lowered by its four corners, and it came close to me. As I looked at it closely, I saw four-footed animals, beasts of prey, reptiles, and birds of the air. I also heard a voice saying to me, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But I replied, By no means, Lord, for nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time the voice answered from heaven, What God has made clean, you must not call profane. This happened three times. Then everything was pulled up again into heaven. At that very moment, three men sent to me from Caesarea arrived at the house where we were. And the Spirit told me to go with them and not to make a distinction between them and us. These six brothers also accompanied me, and we all entered the man's house. He told us how he had seen the angel standing in his house saying, Send to Joppa and bring Simon, who is called Peter. He will give you a message by which you and your entire household will be saved. And as he began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them just as it had fallen upon us in the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but I will be baptizing you with the Holy Spirit. Then if God gave them the same gift that he gave us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could hinder God? When they heard this, they were silenced and they praised God saying, then God has given even the Gentiles the repentance that leads to life. The second psalm lecture for this morning is number 148, verses 1 through 14. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all the deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy and wind fulfilling his command. Mountains and hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone 
is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people. Praise for, for all his faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. From Revelation this morning, the 21st chapter, the first six verses, where the writer of Revelation has a vision of this coming of this new kingdom. Then I saw a, heaven, a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw a holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them as their God. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And then the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this. For these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Turning to the Gospel this morning, we read from John, the 13th chapter, verses 31 through 35. It is John's account of the Lord's Supper, we won't read all of it, just the very beginning. When Judas had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God had been glorified in him, God will also glory him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I have said to the Jews, so I say to you now, where I am going, you cannot come. But I give you a new commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my dis disciples, if you have love one for another. Also reading from the Gospels, this is from Luke. It's the morning psalm of Zechariah, complete with refrains. The refrain is, You have come to your people and set them free. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. You have come to your people and set them free. Through your holy prophets, you promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. You have come to your people and set them free. This was the oath you swore to your, our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our lives. You have come to your people and set them free. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way, to give God's people knowledge of salvation and by the forgiveness of their sins. You have come to your people and set them free. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and guide our feet into the way of peace. You have come to your people and set them free. Let us turn now to prayer. God, satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we will live this day in joy and peace. Loving God, as the rising sun chases away the night, so you have scoured, scattered the power of death and the rising of Jesus Christ. And you bring us all blessings in him. Especially we thank you for the community of faith in our church, in the congregations where we worship.
And we thank you for those with whom we work and with whom we share common concerns. We give you praise for the diversity of your children. And we give you praise for indications of your love at work in the world, especially those who work for reconciliation, which is such a tough job these days. For not many people want to be reconciled to another. Mighty God, with the dawn of your love, you reveal your victory over all that would destroy or harm. And you brighten the lives of all who need you. As we pray this morning, as we do each morning, we pray for those families suffering separation, whether it's enforced or voluntary. We pray for people different from ourselves, different ideologies, different colors, different outlooks on life. We pray for those who are isolated by sickness or sorrow. Be with them as your healing hand touches, as your healing voice is heard in you. The victims of violence or warfare. Well, we have that one in spades and we pay, pray again for those caught up in the war in Ukraine. We pray for those who are seeking safety in other countries, somewhat bewildered by what has happened. Oh God, we pray for your church, your church as it responds to all those needs that we just mentioned, whether it's warfare or greed or hunger or homelessness, we pray for your church. Holy God, as we live this day, we recognize that your love is higher than the heavens and that your grace is wider than the sea. And so awaken our hearts anew this day to the joy of your presence and open our lips to sing your praises. For we ask all this to the glory of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we go out this day, serve the Lord with gladness and Praise the Lord in all that you do. Have a good day, a Christ-filled day, a day of joy and love. Amen.